Meanwhile, world powers on Wednesday pledged billions of dollars for war ravaged Afghanistan until 2020 at talks in Brussels. In exchange for the money in Brussels, donors expect Kabul government to tackle spiraling corruption while working on political reform and human rights. The two-day Brussels conference on Afghanistan, co-hosted by the European Union or EU and Afghanistan, focused on international support for peace in the country, state building and development, and Afghan reform efforts. Regional powers have agreed to try to relaunch Afghanistan's stalled peace process after almost 40 years of conflict. The EU's foreign policy chief said on Wednesday as the West sought to raise around $13 billion to fund the country through 2020. Facing a resurgent Taliban 15 years after US forces helped drive militants from Afghanistan, more than 70 nations in Brussels promised more support in tandem with NATO's ongoing military backing. U.S. and EU officials have been encouraged by a smaller peace agreement last month between the Afghan government and a militant group Hizbe Islami, led by warlord Gulbuddin Hekmatyar. Hekmatyar's group will be able to emerge from the shadows to rejoin Afghan society. This is a model for what might be possible. We don't know yet, has to be delivered, <clears throat> but it is a very important beginning. And President Ghani, Chief Executive Abdullah, need to be congratulated together with all of their government for being willing to make this move, for being willing to take this risk. Germany had planned to provide $1.9 billion in help for Afghanistan over the next four years, but wants Kabul to do more to combat corruption, protect human rights, and work for democratic and economic progress. Germany is one of the main donors to Afghanistan, where the Islamist Taliban group has made significant territorial gains against government forces.